Wow, that's um, that's a lot of plot. This video is sponsored by LD Player. Hi. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lace. This is a seven mortal sins ecstasy video, a first impressions review kind of thing. And so you already know the drill. We're going to go through all of the different mechanics of this game. We're going to go through the art because um, I think uh, to say the least, it is a selling point of the game. We're going to go through a couple of the different features because there are some things that are probably of interest to you guys, such as uh, this thing down here. And then when we finally get into the game, let's go have a look at the story. Let's go have a look at the animations, live 2D. Let's have a look look at what is in store for us. The gacha rates, you already know what it is. I'll also briefly cover like a tier list kind of thing just because like it came up and I was like, okay, you know what? Might as well. And so my guys, with that said, I do want to show you guys the biggest feature of this game, which is this button down here. Sexy plus APK download. And so essentially what happens is if you click this button and if you confirm that you are over the 18 years of age, then you will be able to download an APK. And with this APK, which is over here, I've just like clicked yes and then I downloaded it. All you have to do is open your LDE player, which is this guy over here. So I'm using the 64-bit 4.0.79 and you just have to drag this bad boy into the player itself and it will actually install so freaking easy. Now, the question becomes, why exactly would you go through this uh, kind of cumbersome method? Why not just go through the app store? Because this is the uncensored version. What I would like to report about that uncensored APK is that there are no H scenes. So no actual like things happening, but there is Scrazzles, Scrazzles, thank you for being a member again. But there is indeed going to be full nudity. So if you are into that kind of thing, you're going to grab this APK from the website. If not, you can just go through the App Store or Crew App or whatever. All right. And so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and do the pre-download. However, the servers don't open for another two hours or so. And so I will see you guys on the other side. All right, gang, the game has launched. We are back and we are about to go into the game. And so before we did that, I do want to mention that as you guys probably saw before, the LD player 64-bit version was not working. And so I busted out the 32-bit version, which will be linked down in the description and pinned comment below. But yeah, the process is the same. You drag it from somewhere, drag it into the emulator, and it will install itself. All right, and so now we can get into the game itself. We go guess because that's what we do. All right, and we got some music. Wow, that's um... Oh, yep, I am over 18. Oh, all right, so you can hear we do have some voice acting, which is good. And honestly, right now the cutscenes look like, oh my lord! All right, so we are actually given options. This is uh, this is that kind of game, huh? Take my tickle attack. Oh no, we're we gonna get some some loot. Oh, karma rank up. Oh, hold up, guys! It looks like there's kind of like a, a friendship system. All right, and so it looks like we are going to be getting into some combat. Uh, oh wow. Wait, it's 3D chibis? What the frick? It looks like Dragalia Lost. Is this where all that budget went? All right, let's give this a shot. We're going to tap on this and then we're going to tap on a character. I I feel like I've played a game like this before. I, I don't know about you guys, man, but before I make my next attack, I do have to mention, look at those freaking physics, bro. Anyway, let's go ahead and use this on somebody else. So it is... I'm pretty sure this is identical to Summoner's War, identical to Epic 7, very much those turn-based select a unit, select a target unit, and then use a skill. I'm not sure there's much more I can actually say about this because if you guys have played those kinds of games, it's virtually identical. However, my guys, I did see something interesting, which is the settings button over here. And so, oh, 60 FPS. All right, I'll take that. And then we got optimization priority. We can go for performance or quality. I'm going to go for quality. And then from here, let's run through this cutscene real quick. However, what I did notice is that we don't have um, we don't have live 2D for these characters, which is a little interesting. So in terms of production value, mm, not quite there. And so now I'm just checking the voice acting again. Uh, oh, it's not okay. All right, okay. So it's only like sound effects. Production value is a little bit lower than I think some of the industry standard right now. We've made it to the next stage, which is essentially going to be the same thing, except we've got elemental weakness. So it looks like this blue, this blue icon chick over here, she's going to deal extra damage to the red icon. So let's just smash that real quick. And oh, we got animations. We've got animations with the chibis. Very, very interesting. Wait, there was live 2D there. Why didn't they use that for the cutscenes? There was live 2D right there. Oh, she's going to use one back. Oh, yeah, exactly. Wait, there was live 2D right there. Like, why do they use that for the cutscenes? That's mm, not sure about that move. All right, my guys, it's getting real, real lewd. Although at this point, I think we're still not on the nude parts. I'm not sure if I can show the nude parts to you guys anyway. All right, so it looks like we have a mini game here. What's the... 
finish here what finish her do we have to click oh my lord all right i see where this is going i see where this is going oh my god okay you actually do get like bigger hits for touching the appropriate or inappropriate places depending on how you oh okay all right i see so so that's where it comes in <laughs> and even after the fact you can kind of oh let me try oh dear lord okay all right let's let's just keep going <laughs> all right so it looks like we are in some kind of reward system and we're just getting a whole bunch of oh okay here we go this is the rolls this is the juice my guys let's freaking go we are doing a 10 pull and we're gonna get i i see purple i don't know about you guys but i see purple and purple usually never means five star or ssr or whatever the max rarity is oh gold purple okay all right um another purple one over here so three star these i okay we've got a four star the oranges are four star and then that's that's sad it's big sad so we got the ur garcias the twin stars ultra rare okay that's um can we summon again oh is this a selective can we keep going oh okay skip 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 and we are gonna get another character this that's a little bit bland considering what we just saw uh i'm gonna i'm gonna go again okay let's have a look for somebody else i think you guys have established that this is a selective which is really good so in terms of re-rolling i actually do have a bunch of re-roll targets or non-existent re-roll targets and i will share them uh towards the end all right and so i'm just gonna settle with this uh and go back and so right now i feel like i'm uh being bombarded by a whole bunch of different systems. I did read that this game was like exceptionally, exceptionally generous. Uh, okay, so it looks like we are finally on our daily login. And so it is at about here where I do want to say this is uh this is really crazy. Like the the art style is really really freaking crazy. And so just quickly looking at this, free 100 summons, clear the main stories for up to 100 summons, and a three five star cast. That sounds pretty sick. But just scrolling through these ones over here, uh, there is a. Uh, there is a lot going on. Can I claim that and then roll again? Holy crap, I can. Okay, let's keep going. Honestly, I can see why people are saying this is uh, incredibly free to play. I, I see a lot of rewards. I see relatively cheapish deals. However, getting back to what I did want to say before, this, um, it's really crazy. The whole UI. It reminds me very much of like the, the older school, like the Splatoons, right? Graffiti punk-ish kind of vibe. So I do want to say like from a stylistic point of view, it's certainly not my thing, but it is, it's actually kind of cool. But if we're talking in terms of like new user and usability, it's a, it's a little bit overwhelming to see all these crazy colors and crazy icons and text. But to be honest, that's okay because like you'll probably get really used to the UI really quick. And is this our gift box? Holy crap. I feel like we just got bombarded with a whole bunch of stuff, like a lot, a lot of rolls. Okay, so is that Live 2D? That is Live 2D. What? They have Live 2D in the game, but they don't use it in the cutscenes. Huh, the more you know. That's all right. And there is a couple more characters and that is that is a lot of things. Let's go try do some rolls. All right, so gacha button over here and here we have a bunch of the banners. I have 31 rolls already. I think re-rolling is gonna be pretty freaking sick. So it looks like the five-star units are the top rarity ones. Let's have a look at the rates. And so for a five-star unit, it's at 2.5% rate. Uh, not too bad considering the four stars are also at 9%, but I've also been seeing that that four stars are kind of useless and you kind of want all five stars, which could be possible if they just keep bombarding us with summons and stuff. And this looks like a free daily, a free daily draw. Okay, very nice. Let's skip Arena and we're going to get a Zealot. So it looks like there's even more banners down here. However, we do have to play until 410, which might be a bit away. Let me try and do a tenner and let's see what we get because I'm a freaking gacha addict. And oh oh my lord my guys we actually managed to pull a five star holy crap that was uh that was incredibly lucky let's go again <laughs> i i have no suspense for this one and we're gonna get another one wait wait a second wait a second wait a second wait a second is there some kind of system that i'm missing i i can't be that lucky like there's no way right there's no freaking way yeah, there's no way. This That's not it. Yeah, just having a look through the rules, I think that was just an incredibly lucky two tenors. Uh, and so let's have a look around the UI. We have the settings over here so we can turn off those animations. Next, we've got a menu in which, holy crap, we have a lot of stuff. Can I change my cover person? I'm going to change it to, I'm going to change it to this one. This, uh, she's like a nice, how do I say, a nice compromise between all of the different aspects of the game. So we've got inventory. Oh man, okay. 
Honestly, I'm a, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. We've got profile, uh, which is okay. We've got login bonus, which is very nice. Oh, we're gonna get her anyway tomorrow. There is a lot of free stuff. There, there is a lot of free stuff. So just from a first impressions point of view, like the generosity seemingly is quite insane. So my guys, before we continue, I do want to take a small break to talk about our sponsor, LD Player. LD Player is a lightweight modern emulator that will handle all of your mobile gaming needs. It's got great features such as multi-instancing, we've got sync operations, we've got high frame rate mode and more. A recent LD Player feature that I am in love with is actually the LD Store, which is absolutely ridiculous. However, it is because of this store that I've actually been able to uh, gain access to a couple of betas that I probably should not have been able to. As for 7 Mortal Sins Ecstasy, the R18 Plus version of 7 Mortal Sins Ecstasy is actually available via these three dots and then locally install. So if you don't want to do the whole download and dragging into the emulator thing, which I still think is quite simple, you could do that. And so if you would like to try out 7 Mortal Sins or LD Player, head on down to the description or the pinned comment below and click on the link. Thanks again to LD Player for the sponsor and with that, let's get back to it. Alright, after that we have the store over here. I mean, it's, it's so busy. I think it's a little bit too busy. I get what they're going for, but it's a bit too much for me. And so just looking through a couple of these menus, it looks like we can actually farm for the five stars if we get enough of these Medal of Prides. And then just seeing this like guild shop, I suspect there's probably a guild system somewhere at some point. There's a there's a lot of stores. There are a lot of stores. Is there even more farmable five stars? Wait, this is actually pretty insane. Okay, yeah, this is, this is absolutely going to be a very generous game, at least on first impressions but I think we spent enough time in the shop. Let's have a look at uh, this one over here. And just scrolling through a couple of different tabs, there are a there are a lot of different things going on. And I haven't seen it yet, but even if there was a duplicate system, like let me check the cast list, I suspect it's gonna be like really easy to max them out. Yeah, to be honest, like I'm just a little bit lost in the menus. Uh, it's just very overwhelming for a new player. However, again, I think if you really are into the game, like it'll just take some time to learn about it. But what I do see on this menu is that there might be alternative outfits or something that's uh that could be pretty nice and then character stories over here okay i i did say that there was lack of production value in the cutscenes but like when i look through all of this this game is actually very very rich i do see an equipment system down here let's have a look at star shot oh no is this going to be like the artifact set do we have to farm for like four two sets or whatever Oh my god, there's, there is a lot going on to be honest. Uh, we have an arena down here and it looks like we might be able to do raids as well as PvP itself. However, what I do want to know is if it has... Oh, okay. Daily dungeons with Kizuna quests and limited events. Let's have a look at that. Got to go up to 410. I do want to see if we are able to actually do skips. So I think this screen is uh, using a helper. Yeah, we've got a helper down here and I do see an autoplay button down here. However, I don't see any skip buttons. So I suspect this is going to be kind of like your maybe like your Arknights or like your what is it slime game and so here we are in a battle we've got a switch for helper we've got turbo I can go two times three times speed okay and then maybe manual toggle to auto all right that's yeah everything just died so yeah this very much feels like the summoner's war kind of gameplay like finish a stage and then move on finish the stage and move on and it's honestly not bad I, that's that's really my first impression of it. It's not bad at all. Like I said, the voice acting was a little bit lacking, but everything else, it's very, very feature rich. And so before we wrap things up, I do want to see the QRL in terms of autoplay. What does this autoplay do? So, wow, okay. This is going to be very much like the slime system. If you guys haven't played slime, essentially it's queuing up all of your stamina and then it's going to run in the background, I think. But I don't see my rewards. Maybe it's back on the home screen. Oh, it was there, auto playing. I just saw it. Ah, and it's in this auto button over here as well. Okay, that's, wait, that's, why Why not just skip at that point? Why not just skip? And so my dudes, before I wrap this up, I do want to give like an overall summary of this because it's actually, um, it surprised me in a lot of ways. My very, very first impressions on the game, especially because of the lack of voice acting in the cutscenes, I was like, oh man, it's gonna be low production. I think I am completely wrong. I think there has been a lot of effort and a lot of thought put into this game, as you can see from all of the different menus, all of the different systems, um, to the point where it's kind of overwhelming. It's also feeling like very, very generous, which I, I do like, but this might be the case of like over generosity. So if you guys know like Destiny Child, there are certainly games where it feels like you can have everything and this is one of them. I must admit though, I would rather be flooded than be like, 
I don't know, stinged, like ultra stingy developers. I'm not the biggest fan of the UI. It's just like way too busy for me. But again, like if you just put in some time, I'm sure you'll be able to pick it up. However, in terms of the performance itself, it is silky smooth. It is running at the 60 FPS and everything does feel like it's actually like very, very responsive. And so lastly, in terms of the combat itself, I actually kind of like it. I know it's odd, but it's very satisfying as well at the same time. But honestly, if it was me like choosing between this versus Epic 7 or Summoner's War, I probably would pick Epic 7 only because like I'm not overly into like the gigalood kind of aspect. Like I like characters like this. I like characters like in Arknights. I probably don't like many of those characters. And like this character is kind of okay for me. And then some of the other ones like on my home screen, the one I picked for my home screen, this one is okay. Coming back, uh, these three are okay. This one's getting a little bit much. And then this one is like, it's okay. Yeah, in terms of like personal opinion, this is just not my style. I 100% appreciate that there are a lot of other enjoyers of this style. All right, and so with that being said, would I recommend you play it? I would recommend you actually try it out because it actually feels like a, a pretty decent game. I think, yeah, you just need to be careful in terms of like the nuances, the nudity. Like if you don't want the nudity, you need to get the Play Store or App Store version. And if you are all for it, then yeah, go download it from the website like I showed you. And so my guys, before I leave you, here is the tier list in terms of Risamara or re-rolling. And so I think it's telling you essentially to roll on this banner so that you can get these three characters. These are the most strong, the triple S ranks. However, however, I do want to mention that there is a lot of talk in terms of this Lucifer character. She will be the first, if not one of the first rate up characters, and it's in your best interest to save up to be able to get her. So yeah, as always, I'll definitely be dropping these down in the description below. But otherwise, my dudes, that is going to be the end of it. I think that's... That's actually quite a comprehensive review. And so my guys, it's your turn to tell me whether you would actually go ahead and give this game a shot. Let me know down in the description below. But like like I said, it's, it's not a bad game. I actually do feel like it's quite a good game. It just kind of has like a lot of unique aspects to it. And if you are willing to embrace those unique aspects, I think it's going to be a great game. I don't know if it's going to be popular, but I do think that it's going to be like quite a decent game to play. And so my dudes, let me know down in the comments below. And if you do end up leaving a comment, I would really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. If you did enjoy this video, please consider a like, a subscribe, a notification bell on. But otherwise, my guys, as Shalimar once said, all good things must come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.